Welcome back. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to use a combo box to switch between charts. So let's get started. A couple of days ago, I was watching some videos on YouTube and I found two to three videos similar topic like a drop down to switch between charts and two, two to three moves I saw. But now I found an ultimate solution to this and this is different from any other solution, obviously. And this is a very easy solution and a not time consuming solution. So you can see when I select north, I will automatically get a dynamic chart. When I select South, I will automatically chart get updated and get the chart from this type of data. Similarly, if I selected West, I will get West and East. So how to do this? So let's get started. First, I will copy the self some of the things from here to the next sheet so that I can demonstrate you correctly. This, and I will copy this name of the regions. And also, I will copy this select product name. Okay. Now you can, sorry, oops. I will write it only. Select product. Okay. Now you can find it out, this combo box from, wait, let me format. Okay. Okay. Now you can find this from the box on the developer tab. To enable a developer tab, you just right click, click on the customizer ribbon options, then select the developer tab if it is not ticked. Click OK. Inside developer tab, check, be sure that you are in design mode and then save it as something, uh, add this form controls that is known as combo box. I'm pressing the alt key to be inside a cell so that I can be inside a cell and this is a combo. I'll just put a, a go in design mode and right click this and go in the properties window inside a control write the input range as this and then cell link as this click ok so either you just write here value and just make it color so that it will be easy to differentiate between other cells now when I select something like data, it should automatically get updated and it automatically shows second value that is number 2. South is number 2 in this list and when I select West, it is number 3 in this list. So I will not create a chart just now but I want to show you that if you select this cell and go into the insert tab and then go into the disk chart, I am selecting the column chart, it's something like this. And when I select West and something else, it should automatically get updated. Most of the people follow the method like to look up like, like which is chart is there and then in the next sheet it will call out the this chart and all the blended feature but I follow my own feature method. First I will copy the name of the product here it's down at the bottom. All the names of the product here. Then uh, the, the number one represents to the region node. So I will just use a function name as equals to index. Index function the array number is array is this and row number is first so it will grab out the first value that is north I will get a north value I will just format painter it okay. the next thing I am going to use is equals to vlookup function the vlookup lookup from the vertically lookup and from this table vlookup the lookup value is this comma table array is this which big and now the interesting part about the column index number is this but this is the first column and it will return an error obviously so I will add plus one that will become a north and then comma false to so I want an exact match enter and I will double click and send it down but I am getting an error control Z I have to just lock my sum of the references that is this plus F4 to lock the references double click and send it down okay and then I'm just formatting it and just pasting so that I will get some nice formatting. Now I will de delete this chart. I don't need this at all. And I will go in the insert this chart. Now basically you cannot call, uh, you can, this is like a dynamic chart. But this is nothing related to chart as such because I'm not switching between charts or making as a, or this camera tool using to change it. This automatically gets changed and this is a very short and simple method to do. Now when I select any other thing, automatically gets updated to 2 
and it will grab the value of the south this is interesting and you can also change to west now I'm just changing this label a little bit if you want you can change it or let it be and you can change some formatting here in the design tab some if whatever you need this looks pretty well okay so you can switch between these type of charts this is an interesting feature and you can create an amazing dashboard like this hope you find this video helpful and thanks for watching and have a great day if you want more tips and tricks and tutorials or if you want need and basic tutorials the series is all available at the link below the description excel 2013 tv series thanks for watching have a great day